We have our first patriotic project in the studio, starting off with that craft project today from Independence Day to Pioneer Day. We think you will love making a piece of red, white, and blue decor that will be festive all month long. This piece is all American. I would say with a touch of Western flair, which we love to embrace this time of year. Darcy Liptrot is the crafty mind behind the bandana wreath. I don't know what you're looking at right now because when I walked into the <laughs> studio, I saw the cutest Polly Pocket ready to go on a picnic. You look darling. You're the <laughs> cutest. Be our mascot. Also, this is amazing. Like, it's so impactful, right? Impactful it's huge. is the perfect word. It is big. What is this, like four feet? It's, I mean, at least, right? <gasps> and it's light as a feather, too. So it's not like super heavy or hard to manage. It's like you could throw it in the air and Catch it. You, you could yeah. put it around and make it a. Uh, <laughs> you know Are we going to hula hoop? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how your beautiful brain came up with this. I mean, what were you were you looking? The bandana is kind of classic Fourth of July decor, like we tie it around a vase, right? Or we might wear it in our hair. Exactly. What made you decide to craft with this thing? Well, I, I've always loved a bandana, yeah. and we kind of wear them around our house periodically. But I needed something massive for my above my mantle. I have quite a huge space there that needs to be filled, but I don't like a ton on there. Uh -huh. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I know what I could do. And I have a lot of these leftover wire reefs because I periodically like buy a ton of them and don't know why I keep buying them. It's, it's your food storage. And then, it's yes, your it's like, oh, I might need these someday. <laughs> so I have like a lot of them. And so every t chance I can get, I try to use those on a project because like, listen, I have too many. You've got a collection. So right? is that the foundation then, just a wire yeah. wreath? It's just a wire wreath, that's it. That is all it is. Okay, teach us, because I have no idea how you're getting okay. us to stand up. So, oh, that there's a trick With to pride. that. With pride, so okay, excited okay, about okay. that too. So all you do is, it's very similar to that rope wreath that we made, right? Remember that a little while ago? Okay. You're just going to roll it up, and then you're gonna fish it through, and mm -hmm. you kind of just kind of zhuzh as you go a little bit. That's that's an official verb here it's on true. Studio Five. Zhuzh. It's like a real word. We all spell it differently, but we respect it all the same. And then you're going to pull it through, and you kind of just as you go, just really tighten it as good as you can. Okay. And look, that's it. That is it. And it just naturally holds its shape. Yep. Well, there is a little bit of a trick to oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay. And. Calm down, because <laughs> I'm really excited so about this. <laughs> like, in order to get it to hold, what I did was I took some cardboard, just mm -hmm. like this, and mm -hmm. I just cut a little ring. And I cut out in the center and cut a little ring. I did not glue it to the wreath ring. You can if you'd like, but okay. I just didn't want any of that to show. Uh -huh. So what I did was glue it out here, and then I glued all of the back ones to it, to the cardboard, okay. to keep them soldier strong. So the right? fabric is glued to the cardboard. Yep, the fabric is glued to the cardboard, and it's all such a lightweight project uh -huh. that you don't really need any other support. So I grew, glued the, like on this one here, the yeah. The blue ones are in the back. Yeah. So I glued the blue down. Okay. And then I glued the white to the blue just a little bit, like okay. a dot of glue. Uh -huh. And then I glued a little dot of the red. So I still get fluid. It's still pretty fluid. There's motion to but it. But like, it's still <gasps> stiff and it'll stay pretty good for us, right? I think this is genius in so many ways. It's been a few years since we've started hanging ribbon on our wreaths. Yep. This to me feels like the level up from that. Like the yeah. ribbon or the fabric is the wreath. Right? You know? Yeah, and like you can go to town with the with your hankies. Like maybe you want to do all brown for Pioneer Day, or maybe you're like gonna go super Americana and you can just like get a vat of Coke and dye it all in the Coke, and then it's like, you know, vintage looking. Like you could really do it up. How many do we need? Because because this is full. It's not just big in size. It's yes. big in like it's billowy, right? It's billowy. It is billowy. Good word. Right. Good word. So I ordered these on Amazon. I ordered 20 in a pack. Uh -huh. They were red, white, and blue already, which Perfect. was so cool. And they were twenty dollars. I used. Um, let's see, it was $60 to do this whole wreath. Uh -huh. So I used about that amount of hankies, about 60 of them. Listen, this is what you'll pull out year after year. It will become a traditional yep. piece of decor in your stash. And as we like to emphasize, we have said it, we'll say it again, here in Utah, we get a whole month. We get a whole runway get, yes. to celebrate kind of patriotism toward yes. country and state. And state. And so leave it up. Like, go to town, leave it up. It's gonna last you forever. 
I love this so much. So just nodding all around. Blue nodding background, all around. Yep. white in the middle, red in the center. And what I love to do too, just because it makes it a little bit easier and you can see on this one here. Yeah. I like to do one section of the wire at a time just because it does get really, like look how billowy this one is it's already. Full. So I just do one section of the wire at a time and then it will be a little bit easier for you to manage. So don't do all your blue, all your white, all no. your red. Take it section by yep, section. Yep, red, white, and blue. And as you go smaller, like as the ring goes smaller, your, your amounts will change a little bit. Like maybe you have four of the blue three of the white and two of the red. And it will still be very full because you can also, like this is fun too, you can just kind of zhuzh them out a little yes. bit and puff them out and look how they kind of stay. It's very fluffable. Kind of, yeah. It's very fluffable, it, it sits above your mantle. Yep, it sits you above my mantle. You could go smaller scale if you wanted front door decor. Yeah, like I would probably use the smallest ring for my front door because it will still stick out at least, you oh, know, yeah. double oh. that size. Yeah. But <gasps> it would be so cute on a front door. And it's pretty weatherproof. I mean, these are hankies. Like, they will dry. Hanky panky, right? <laughs> like, I haven't heard the good. word hanky in a really long time. And now I just heard hanky panky, which made me giggle. Up, but who cares? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're embracing the hanky wreath. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I love uses. it. I love it so much. And we're so grateful to you for sharing it. And you are always sharing the craft projects that you won't see your neighbor taking on. Like unique, creative, one of a kind. How can we connect with you? Yep. Just visit me. Hit me up on Instagram. And it's at Darcy Does Stuff because I like to do all the stuff. You do. I almost said like lots of hanky panky going on over there, but that didn't sound right. I mean. No, no, no. No, no, no. We just, <laughs> we're just going to stick to the projects. You're so good at what you do. Thank you for sharing our bandana Americana wreath with just the right amount of rustic western flair. We love you, Darcy. Thank you so much. Thanks,